What's going on, boys? It's your boy Dev back on Madden 24 Colts franchise, and Christmas came in February this year because you see it. It's a breakout running back challenge for our boy Marco freaking Thomas. Back to back breakout weeks. Last week it was Carlos Woodson. This week it is the undrafted rookie free agent, Marco Thomas, I am sure, for this breakout challenge. Yes, sir, Nick Gregory, Marco Thomas. Get him three plus touchdowns or 150 yards rushing receiving to get him up to superstar development. We are going to tote the freaking rock with Marco. And hopefully he's not, he's going to get it because he's not playing polo. He's playing football. Okay. After that is over now, <laughs> we are in week nine. We're taking on the Texans, man. They are three and four. Pretty good offense. It looks like. But the defense leaves a lot to be desired now. As for the sliders, I am going to make some changes because you see, we ended up beating the Bengals 53 to 27. Now it was pretty close for in the beginning, and then we pulled away. But I mean, we're absolutely rocking teams right now. You look at our schedule here. We are scoring more points than any team in NFL history if we average this all season. We scored 56. 41, 52, 56, 38, 56, 38, 53. Unbelievable numbers, dude. The least we scored in the game was 38. 38 points is our least. Now, it is Madden, okay? It is Madden. We have an amazing team. And we have also have an amazing defense. So it's like, I don't want crap teams to have a chance to beat us. But at the same time... It has to be competitive, and so we take a look at the sliders here. Our biggest thing is our offense. You know, last week, the run blocking is already at 30. Marco Thomas goes for 200 yards, but there's been games where it's been really, really tough to run the football, so I honestly just think the Bengals' offensive defensive scheme, they were really bad one. They had like an 81 overall defense, and uh, second, um, they just didn't have any abilities on the defensive line, I believe. So the one thing I'll say is that we've pretty much kept almost all teams below 20 points a game. So I would like to increase the QB accuracy. Um, I, I think just a little bit. And then we, we had pass defense reaction time up. And then last week we allow, we get Carlos Woodson four touchdowns at times. It was hard to find the open receiver, but I'd like to increase this up to 75. Now, I know that that's going to make it really hard to move the football at times. That's fine. You know, I, I want it to be challenging. I don't want it to be a walk in the park where we hang 60 on every single team. And that's just the natural progression of this thing now. Um, I would like the run blocking for the CPU to be pretty good as well. Um, 63 maybe. And just increasing the difficulty across the board for this squad man so we're going to increase catching up to 55 for the cpu and we're going to increase pass blocking up to 55 as well we don't get that many sacks anyways so it's fine so we increased qb accuracy wide receiver catching pass blocking run blocking um and then pass defense reaction time pass coverage as well so everything has been increased on our side of the football we have pass coverage down at 35 pass defense reaction time at 40 last week burrow only ended up throwing one interception i believe so the interceptions have kind of been what crushes teams out of games but a lot of that is just my user lurking and ability right there but i don't know there's a lot to go over so you know richardson does miss some throws but he's a 90 eight overall quarterback he should be making almost every throw if you think about it in real life they almost always do so pass blocking we do get sacked a good amount I, i'm pretty happy with all these numbers on our end um i just think that the other team needs to be juiced a little bit more and that's just what we did so let's see how that affects it if it's gonna make the the you know the defense and the other team play more competitively. It was very, very close in the beginning. I want close games, but this is a three and four team in the Houston Texans, and I we're a plus four overall. I expect us to handle business. So with that being covered now, we are looking at the players of the week, and it was Anthony Richardson, six passing touchdowns, 358 yards, 
an interception, three sacks, and three carries for 21 yards. Kenneth Murray of the team we are playing this week had six tackles and two picks, so we're hoping that we don't throw picks against them this week. Looking at the league leaders, Carlos Woodson leading the NFL now jumps over Amon Ross St. Brown, and he's got 926 yards and 13 touchdown receptions. Unbelievable. Richardson having a record-shattering year. He's over 1,000 yards over the next closest person, and I know it's, it's not super realistic, but it's really fun. We're making it more difficult. I mean, but you look at unrealistic. I mean, Miles Garrett has 14 sacks in simulation through eight games. So he's on pace for like 28 sacks. So that's not realistic, but still the simulation accounts for crazy shit like that. Julius Brents has got five picks. Chris Givens at number two with four as well. And then we do not have a dog in the rushing game but if we can get marco thomas superstar development this week it is going to pay dividends for his development time for weekly strategy i will see you guys on the other side we'll spend some coach points and then it is game time let's go all right upgrades ahead of week nine and it is marco thomas getting an upgrade ahead of his breakout game he's going up to a 70 overall elusive back 72 overall player and plus one Excel is awesome. Plus one ball carry vision, plus one juke, plus one spin. He's 23 years old. I wish he was a younger rookie. It's on the older side, but still love him. He still should be able to develop if he gets the work. He's got 92 speed, 92 Excel, up to 84 juke is awesome. 83 change of direction. There's still a ton of time for him. And superstar development this week would be massive. We have to get him superstar. And now looking at the lineup, we got a couple things to handle. We need to get Carlos Woodson's X factor ability set up. So first off, we're going to have, he has ankle breaker right now. I do want rack him up on him just because he's more of a rack guy. He's got deep in elite. He's got mid in elite deep out elite requires 90 overall deep threats. So although he has 85 thought that would get it because he has 91 deep route running, but no. So Right now, the, he pretty much has the best abilities he can get, which is matchup nightmare, mid in, deep in. At a 95 overall, he gets a fourth ability slot, so he's got a ways to go. But, you know, getting a better overall to some of these archetypes will get him better abilities, and he's going to continue to develop. He's already halfway through his next bar. And looking at the fullback position, 99, here you go, buddy. I'm looking... And we're gonna see how much worse Preston Mc, or how much worse Ben Roberts is than Preston McMillan. The fullback Preston McMillan, who's only 22 out of two lane, has 79 lead block, 66 run block, 78 speed. His lead block is 79, which is huge. Impact 64. But if we look at Ben Roberts, he's generationally bad at blocking. His lead block. Does they even does it even say impact blocking of a 30? It doesn't even say what his lead blocking is. His pass blocking is 62 or 66. Lead block is a 39. So this is why he cannot be our fullback, buddy. And that is because lead block of 39, impact block of 30. He's generationally bad at blocking. And so although he is a big power back, putting him at fullback would be a disservice to Marco Thomas when we're playing I-form situations. Preston McMillan, although a low, o lower overall, has higher overalls where it matters. Now, I'd love to get running up just because we're trying to invest in Marco Thomas. And so we've added pass blocking. We haven't added run blocking, which is kind of annoying. Pass block power. We boosted pass block by three. This gets run block for tight ends. Gonna boost play rec for corners, free safeties, and strong safeties by one. And then um, I'm going to boost the offensive uh, running tree for power running. So I'm gonna boost run block for tight ends. And then I'm gonna be able to get run block for fullbacks or awareness for halfbacks. I honestly wanna just try and build up Marco Thomas as much as possible. So awareness. And then also going to get to do stiff arm for halfbacks as well. So Marco getting a little bit of power back work to boost his overall. Week 9 against the Texans is here, boys. Let's run it up. Let's get the dub. Let's handle business with these new sliders. Marco Thomas, 150 yards with 3 plus TDs for Superstar. 
Let's go. And we're coming out on offense first at the Texans home stadium. They're kicking off to us first, and we're looking to score first with Marco. We're going to feed Marco just like last game we fed Woodson. It's going to be a Marco Thomas game. And Woodson's off to the races. Great field position up to the 34. Getting the first carry here. Greenberry picks up a block. We got blockers. And he takes it down to the 48. Going to need a couple more of those, man. Now three touchdowns or 150 yards. Could be all-purpose. Last week he had like 234 all-purpose yards. So getting 150 for him should be light work. Look at that. 26 for 210 and a touchdown last week. For the 71 overall, now 72 overall. Undrafted rookie free agent, man. Got Marco! It was wide open downfield! It was a Marco Thomas touchdown. We can't get the ball there in time. That's going to be a tough pill to swallow, boys, as we leave a touchdown to Marco Thomas on the board. Everybody open. We got Marco. Far side. Marco Thomas upfield. Juke. Pushing for the first and down to the inches mark. It's 18 yards for Money Marco. The middle looks wide open, man. We're giving it to Marco. Not thinking twice here. Marco Thomas down to the 35. He's got three for 27. He's got 18 yards receiving. 45 all-purpose yards on the first drive of the game. And second and 10. This is an old-fashioned Colts football game running the football downhill. Ground and pound. Only two yards there for Marco, and it's third and eight. Saw Jelani Woods break one big on this play last game, but I'm looking Jamo Williams potentially. Got him. Jamo to the house. Touchdown. Jamo Williams splits the defenders deep, and the Colts are on the board first. Not, not going to force feed touchdowns to Marco. I think he's going to be able to get enough work to get the yardage he needs now if we're on the goal line we'll give it to him but i'm not gonna not allow other guys to get involved now stroud coming out bringing the offense on let's see how these new sliders affect the offense's ability to move the football okay it's run play and it's so much space for pierce he picks up 18 on the first play givens coming in out of position. We ran clean past him. Our defense plays best when we are blitzing. And I got man coverage with Cisco here. It's a run play. Always all over it. Owe and Adams make a huff sandwich. Peanut butter and fluff. More like peanut butter and huff. Brother, this guy stinks. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Dent. Cisco intercepted! Andre Cisco picks the ball off. He's going down the sideline. And Stroud saves a pick six. Cisco has elite speed and elite zone. He's getting under that football. You're not getting that over his head. Stroud tries to test Cisco, and it doesn't work in his favor. He should know this by now. You've played us enough times to know what Andre Cisco is capable of. Marco Thomas gets tripped up. Wow, if he doesn't get hands on Marco's feet, pause, then that could have been massive. Trips him up enough to allow the defenders to shed the block and close. Second and two here. Marco getting the football again. Just going to pick up the first. No, but Jelani Woods is open. It's inner. It, what is the throw? How's it good accuracy? No, we're breaking this down. Bullshit. What happened here is I'm, I'm he's open, guys. He's got legs of separation. I'm leading him. I'm pulling down on my left stick, leading him back to the football. And instead of going out, I guess he's going a pretty upfield. I thought he was going more outwards. Okay, maybe that is on me. Damn it. Okay, dumbass play by me. Misread the route. Thought we could lead him where we wanted to. What? We couldn't. Dent, get up. I need Quiddy Pay to shed a block one time in run defense. Play action. Jukes. Big time shot. 
Check his ankles and check his legs. Almost took him clean off. Good run, D. Only two for Pierce there. Moss. Moss, go get him! Quincy Moss! Home for the sack! He paused, looked at him, and then... <laughs> hold on. I don't know if you guys saw this, but Quincy Moss went in, broke past Pierce, and then just stood there for a second. And then decided, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go sack him. Good route. But good tackle. They're in field goal range. But Brents ends the drive. They're going for this, actually. They're going for this. They're going for this. Bring everybody up. This is probably a run. It's not. Brents gets cooked. Brents gets cooked. It's Tank Dell just finding a way to get open every single time. We're actually going to go man coverage here and we're sending the dogs. Texans are moving the football at will. We got to get it together, man. We got to rally. I expect this to be a run. We're run committing. It's blown up. There we go. Quiddy Pay, JC Can. Crush Pierce in the backfield. Givens, I'm, I'm a step away. I'm sprinting right there. Right where the ball was is where I'm headed. And it's a Tank Dell touchdown. Who else? Marco averaging 6.6 .6 yards per carry. He needs to continue to get a lot more work if he's going to get X Factor. 150 total yards. There's Marco here. Marco, go north-south. Should have tried to juke, but I didn't want to risk not picking up the first. First and 10, another carry for Marco. Sneak through the hole and pick up four. The guy was blitzing around the right side. We would have ran straight into a tackle. I like this Pittman post. I also like Woodson on the corner route. Jelani Woods on the trail. This is a really good route. And we got Woods wide open. Jelani Woods to the other side of the 50, down to the 45. They blitzed both those guys off that side, and we had to make a quick read. Luckily, Woods was there. And I like this play a lot if we don't get crushed out of the bootleg. We got Woods. Catches the football, sure-handed, down to the 20-yard line. You can never forget about Jelani Woods' ability to take over a football game. He is so clutch for us. Get a block from 52, we do. It's, it's Thomas, down inside the 10, down to the 8-yard line. 9 for 66, and we're going to try and get him a touchdown here if we can. It's a read option keeper with Richardson. He fumbled into the end zone. What? You have got to be kidding me. We are getting hosed right now, boys. The He fumbled into the end zone as he was walking in. You're kidding. That's unbelievable luck. We're driving all the way down the field handedly, giving the Texans life. Go get him. It's deep. Cross. Broke it up. Should have been intercepted, but at least he gets the breakup and doesn't get mossed. Run past him. It doesn't matter. We've got guys there. We get the stop. And after the turnover, we are able to stop the Texans on a three and out and get the football right back. Yes, please. And a low scoring 7-7 first half is not what we are used to on this channel here. Like I said, we've scored an ungodly amount of points on teams this year. And this looks to be a little bit different. Oh, Marco Thomas has got room. Tried to hit a juke up to the 39. He's closing in at 100 total yards from scrimmage in the first half and looking like Superstar is within reach for him. And now we're going to go mess spot. Sharif. Here we go, buddy. I'm looking Thomas. If it's man coverage, I'm looking Thomas. It's not. We do have the tight end, though. It's Will Mallory making his third catch probably of the season. As we run mesh spot out of the loaded set, and Sharif comes through again for us. Shout out Sharif, channel OG. There we go, buddy. Oh, that's, that's intercepted potentially. 
If I throw that a second later, that's that's a house call the other way. We are playing with a little bit of fire. The new reaction time that we changed for the sliders is very noticeable in this game right now. We're going to have space here with Richardson, and we're going to slide down third and inches. We're going to take a timeout on the 33-yard line. Looking for Thomas. Just don't run in place into somebody, and he does. He does. He does exactly that. He's, he's going to have ungodly amount of room on the left side. And instead, it's going to be a Mackay field goal from 60 yards out. And instead, it's... No! Clock runs out. And our nightmare half ends with no points. you got to be fucking kidding me, dude. I'm about to get pissed off and hang about 30,000 points on this team. 7-7, seven, seven, Texans get the ball. We come away with no points. Unbelievable. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. I didn't want to call a timeout with, uh, with se 16 seconds left and risk them getting some crazy shit, but we should have just booted it through. Anyways, 7-7. Seven, seven. We haven't seen this all year. Two turnovers. First half, it's been a nightmare. That's got to be... There's a pass rusher right there. It was OA. He's not a coverage guy, but right there to intercept it, potentially. Dent right there. The Dent hits him in the backfield. Another TFL for our superstar linebacker. Nope. I'm bringing the dogs again. I'm going to continue to blitz and make teams uncomfortable. Handoff here. Pierce. There we go. Josh Harper gets hands and keeps it to a four-yard gain. Could have been much, much more. Thought Brents could knock that out, but third and two here. This is a massive down for the boys here. How does this continue to happen? It's just it's just 15 yard curl route. And DJ Moore is now on the Texans. Hand off here, Gibbons. Cross makes a tackle, five yards. We're at risk of losing our first game, and they're eating up so much clock. They've all, almost ate up this entire quarter. There's Dent again, meets him at the line of scrimmage. Oh wait, Moss helps out. Third and five, we gotta hold him the three here. That's knocked out, Chester Dent. The Dent gets hands on Moore, makes him drop the football, and that's gonna be a Texans field goal. That is a huge stop, boys, huge. And it, we're going down 10-7. We've scored one touchdown all game on our first drive of the game. Since then, it's been an interception, a fumble into the end zone, and a stop to end the half. Time to dial the fuck in. I'm not even returning and risking fumbling this. I'm dialing in. It's Marco Thomas's superstar game. Want him to get that at first priority of anything, but I also don't want to risk our undefeated streak, boys. They're blitzing here. We need blocks. Nothing. We got Woodson. Carlos Woodson! He beats him deep, and he's gone! Touchdown, Woodson! The big play monster wins again and puts us up 14-10. Unbelievable what this guy's capable of. Unbelievable what this guy can do. Every single game, we're screaming his name on a big play. And it's just, he just completely burned them. They decide to play man coverage. It's a deep crosser. There's no deep safety to help out there. And it's just, it's just gone. We still need to get Marco a good amount of yardage here. Let's just check what we need to get him. 150 total yards. He's got 79 rushing and he's got 18 receiving. So we're talking about just shy of, so he's got 97 total yards. We still need to get him 43 or 53 total yards from scrimmage in this half. And we don't have the ball. So maybe should have gone down there. But the odds of us getting him two more touchdowns, would it have really mattered? There we go. Quiddy Pay, I called his name. I said we needed more in run defense. He gets the TFL there. What a play. Oh, just ran right past me, dude. I got to click off there. It's almost impossible to make that tackle because of moment the momentum of their speed one way versus the other. This is blown up. Cisco's there waiting. What a play. Corey Davis nowhere to go. He's not even in the league anymore. He retired. He, goes to, he went to my alma mater, Western Michigan. 
Wish he would have been better in the league. But that's gonna be. I mean, what? No way. No way. No way. We're faster. We're faster. There we go. Hadley and Poindexter track him down. 18 yard line. Nobody there. Try and trip him up. We can't. Down to the one yard line. This is shaking out to be a crazy finish here. We're playing a little bit too much, man. Pays there. Big time play. Quitty Pay in the backfield. Damian Pierce had three carries for 23 yards, I'm pretty sure. He now has 10 for 22. Has completely gotten shut down. Okay, somebody's got to get there. Somebody's, there's nobody. Touchdown. 17, 14, th seven seconds left in the third. A seven play, 76 yard drive by the Texans. We got to continue to give Marco work, man. He needs 47 more, or 53 more yards. That is a huge priority here for us. Oh, we got blocked, so it's Marco, north-south, down to the 43. And a 20-yard run right off the rip is going to help big time. We're headed to the fourth, down three here at Texan Stadium. Only 14 points scored in this one so far. Now, we have ran the football a lot, a lot less passing, a lot less big plays. Oh, there's a, there's a big-time broken tackle from Marco. He's got 118 total yards. We got Jelani Woods wide open. Woods! Down to the 27-yard line. He's got X-Factor, but we need Marco's yardage still. He's got blocks. I, I, why am I running into O'Neal? I'm trying to go right through that hole. He's not running. He's not running where I'm telling him to. What are we doing? Marco dropped the football. It's third and nine. Like I said, I mean, it's a little bit more important to me to get a developing player superstar than to win the game, but... Need Woods to hold that block. It's fourth and three here. Going for this. I got Woods. If Woods gets single coverage... It's, it's double me! It's single coverage and he can't catch it! This ability never works with him. It never works with him. And I'm not using my head because I could, should have kicked a field goal there. Brain aneurysm time. I don't know what I'm thinking. Discombobulated today and it's showing because that makes no sense why we don't kick a field goal there. And we're also double me for Woods. It's single coverage. He's supposed to catch it every time. And again, it doesn't work. I don't, I don't understand this ability. That's Dent right there. And for some reason, I'm behind him again. Third and five. We got to get a stop here. We got to get a stop here. Come on, dial in. Defense. That's Givens. Chucked it right to me. User pick. Give me my cookies and start pouring the milk. It's Chris Givens again. This rookie's unbelievable at user. Oh, my God. What a play. Marco Thomas gets a block. Broken tackle. North-south. Picks up nine. To run this here. Pick up a block from O'Neal. And we're not able to get there. It's third and inches, 444 left. They're not stacking the box. I'm running this. Marco, north south, get the job done. 112 yards there. Bigger run play. He he just gets power bombed. Holy smokes, he got destroyed on that play. And Chris Givens got injured on his interception. He's going to be out the rest of this game. Let's see how many more yards Marco Thomas needs. Marco Thomas, 117 yards on the ground and 27 yards through the air. So he's got 117 plus 27 is 144 yards. He needs six more yards. If he scores here, he's got it. My God, I need a little bit more fight, boys. Come on. It's got to be Woodson. For, to the house. Touchdown, and we go up. Marco needs four, two, what does he need? Two more yards, but I had to give it, I had to give us the lead and give us the score, man. I'm just hoping that we get the ball back and are able to convert, but I wasn't about to lose the ball game over it. And that is a four-point lead for your Colts. Marco's going to get another opportunity. If we get a stop here, 
we're going to get the ball back and able to run it out with him. And if we are able, to, if we go down here, then we're going to have to give him a catch or something. But let's go. 307 left. We're up by four. Texans got three timeouts. Time for glory here. It's a big knockout. Cisco drills him. Now we got Lionel Johnson playing over the middle with Givens out. It's a run play here. It's a big time run play. It's broken tackles. Brent save a touchdown down to the 37. Oh my God. Unbelievable. These sliders are wild right now. Oh, it's wide open. Pierce puts him in the dirt. Power bomb backside from OA. 222 left. Texans need a touchdown here. Two minutes for glory, boys. We are de we are up by four, but the Texans, after a couple of massive run plays, or one of them was a pass to a running back, they're on the 16-yard line knocking at the door. We need to generate another turnover here. Oh my God. Instead, it's a touchdown. It's DJ Moore. We can't even move. Like, my guys are stuck in glue. And we're down by three. We're at risk of losing our first game. It is clear the, di the difference the new sliders have made. We got 157, three timeouts. We only need a field goal to tie to go to OT or a touchdown to win it. Start out with a screenplay to Marco. If you can just get like 10 yards here, we can lock it in immediately and then not have to worry about the development trait would be money. Pick up a block. Broken tackle and more. Marco Thomas, superstar running back, locked in. And now let's win the football game. I see Jelani Woods on a deep corner out. Pittman wins. Got Thomas, though. Marco with more. And down to the 49. There we go. There we go. Let's no huddle here. Don't want to burn too much clock. Okay, we're going to have Pittman here. Launch to Pittman. He's beat him. And we're down at the six. Bomb to Pittman. And if he was any faster, it's probably a touchdown. But that's probably good he goes down there. And now we can burn this clock. Texans should be taking timeouts right now. I don't know why they're not. We're going to run this with Thomas. Dial the fuck in, boys. Dial in. Run this with Thomas. And down at the three. They're still not calling timeouts here. Okay, I'm going to call one just in case we don't get this. Looking to hand this to Marco here unless the slot corner blitz is in. He doesn't. It's Marco Thomas to the house. Money Marco. The new superstar potentially ices this game for us with 19 seconds to go in the fourth. And although I'm tempted to give another sneak to Chip Coker, we can go up by four and make it a touchdown game with that field goal. 28-24 here, boys. Safe to say the new sliders are pretty damn entertaining. All right, nine, 16 seconds left. Just make the tackle. Just make the tackle and bounce. 13 seconds left. Just a curl route. Just make the tackle. Eight seconds left, and they're going Hail Mary formation. 41-yard line. I don't think we got a single sack all game. Somebody get after him now. Chucked up. Swat it. Two seconds left. Oh, that's back of the end zone. Swat it down. That bounced around. Scared the hell out of me. We get the W. And Hitman Jones can't believe it. We squeak this one out. And we also get our undrafted rookie free agent superstar development. Richardson, 126.2 passer rating. 12, only threw 18 passes. Only completed 12. For 293 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. CJ Stroud, 100.3 pass rating, 20 of 27, 277, two touchdowns, two picks, including pretty much the one that helped seal the game for us from Chris Givens, or helped at least get us in a position to go up and make it competitive. Rushing, Marco Thomas, 22 carries, 126 yards on the ground, and a touchdown. Damian Pierce, 12 for 29 and a touchdown. We helped shut him down completely almost. But then Marquise Huff is clearly the better running back. I don't know why they don't tote him more. He uh, he had three for 42, including a long-ass touchdown run, 38 yards. Receiving DJ Moore, seven for 80 and a touchdown. Tank Dell, seven for 118 and a touchdown. They both tore us up. But then for us, four for 53 for Marco Thomas. Jelani was three for 70. 
three for 35 for Car uh, Corey Davis. Carlos Woodson, two for 80 and two touchdowns. He is a scoring machine. Had that 76-yard touchdown grab. And then one for 21 for Pierce. One for 43 for Pittman to help put us in scoring position to win. Amazing play. Dalton Schultz, one for 17. And then just a couple other grabs, including the Jamison William Williams, one for 33 and a touchdown there. Defensively, a couple of interceptions. Chris Givens, who also got injured, had the touchdown or the interception. Tredavious White and then Andre Sisco had a pick as well. Two sacks for Will Anderson, one for Quincy Moss. We did have a sack, actually. And then a couple of big TFL days for Lionel Johnson and Quiddy Pay. 28-24, we beat the Texans. Let's go. And it's a breakout message. Show me the money. You see Marco Thomas. He delivered, and he is the truth. Superstar development for our boy Marco. Going from an undrafted rookie who nobody wanted. We found him on waivers. We picked him up. He is now our starter, locked in, and is a superstar running back. Let's go, man. And that's going to be it for this one, boys. We get the W28-24 over the Houston Texans, man. This team is so much fun, and I think the new sliders have made it so much more competitive and crazy with the fumble, the pick. It was wild, man. And I made some dumb plays, but in the end, we found a way to be smarter than our stupidity and win. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate you stopping by. We will be live tonight on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern back on Fantasy Draft Lions franchise, man. So come chill with us at 7 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube, and I'll see you guys there. Appreciate you stopping by. Peace.